Hello everybody, Mobius1 here, bringing you the next episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. I kind of feel like we need to take another companion conversation episode, but not this episode. We did a little bit of talking in the last one, we got our prestige class from Kraya. I think that was the last episode. Um, and now we're leaving Onderon. I want to take a look at the map and see what our options are. So, that's Paragus, that's Citadel Station, which we still have, we still have, uh, side quests to do there, so we might want to go back there at some point. Uh, Duxin, Onderon, Narshada, Dantooine, and Korriban. Alright, let's go to Dantooine. We haven't been there yet. Travel. So in the first code tour when we landed on Dantooine, we're at the Jedi Academy. I wonder where we are now. Hello? I just have black screen. Did we break the game? Has there been any sign of the ship? No, mistress, nor any word of our sister. We do not know where they travel now. The freighter. It is important. And I thought the droid was as well, but I was wrong. Mistress, we still do not know the significance of the ship or the droid. We downloaded all you asked, but we are still no closer to the answers you seek. Then perhaps we will need to have faith that your sister will change her mind, remember her oath, and return to us with the answers we seek. I hope so, Mistress. But there has been no word of her since she departed with the other four on the freighter. Four? Yes, mistress. The Iridonian, the Ichani-trained pilot, the exile, and the old woman. Old woman? Yes, mistress. I do not recall seeing her. Mistress, she was secured for much of the time the exile was here. At other times, you were meditating, and we did not wish to disturb you. Mistress, is there something wrong? I am tired. I... Sometimes feel as if things are collapsing all around us. It is just at the edge of perceptions waiting. I fear I fear things will collapse before our enemies reveal themselves. Yes, mistress. I will meditate upon this. Perhaps it will clear my mind. Are we supposed to be seeing this? My gang had a little bit of a hiccup, so I'm hoping I'm hoping everything's back to normal. Why you won't let me take a look? Statement. I've had quite enough tampering at the hands of unskilled meatbags such as yourself. I'm not eager to submit to this treatment now or in the future. Unskilled meatbag? I'll show you unskilled. Appeasement. I did not mean to imply that you were an unskilled meatbag, as incapable of performing rudimentary repairs as holding a hydro spanner. It is only that I am quite particular with my repairs. Perhaps, when I am more confident in your abilities, I will allow you to examine my internal components. If you've got some time, I'd like to see what I can upgrade for you. Yes, I do have a few moments to spare for your work. I would like to know what he is doing here, though. He helps me out with repairs. That isn't a problem, is it? I suppose not. Perhaps in working on my circuitry, your assistant will learn something about how a fully functional droid is constructed. It looks like Ignore him. it looks like we're having a companion Our conversation episode has, anyway. Our group has little in the way of time to spare, and I would not want to delay you from your other duties. Right. Let's get you open. See what you can do. This is not planned. I have to say, you are put together quite well. There wasn't much to do. As I told you, my design is streamlined and efficient, though I am pleased that you were able to make some improvements, and this was not just a waste of my valuable time. There were a few things from my remote that I was able to integrate into your construction. 
I see. Well, thank you. I'll let you get back to your work. Put her minute plus one to Dex, okay. What are you doing up? I dreamt of Malakor. I remember the ships, the last stand of the Republic. The tattered remnants of our fleet, the largest we could gather. But it was damaged, weakened, and vulnerable. The Mandalorians couldn't resist. They tore into us like beasts, shredding our ships to scrap as we fought back. Yet this time, there were no reinforcements for either side. Revan had been delayed out system by Mandalorian scout ships. By the time he arrived, it was too late. And beyond Malakor, there were no more Mandalorians left to die. I remember standing on the bridge with you and watching the destruction of the Republic. Watching ships full of soldiers and Jedi burn and die. I remember the look you had when you turned to me. It was the longest you'd ever looked at me. You didn't say anything. Just a nod. Events moved quickly then, even in my dreams. Flashes, explosions, you falling. I could feel the pain around me. And then the memory. The drifting hulks of the Mandalorian ships, the dead, allies, friends, strangers. And then the echo, lingering, the sound I awakened to in my nightmares. Damn, that was deep. Uh, they had to die, there was no choice, my decision haunts me too. It was a glorious victory, the Mandalorians killed thousands, they deserved it. Uh, eh, my decision haunts me too, fine. Blame lies with me for creating it. The situation forced your hand, anger forced mine. If you are to blame for its creation, I am equally to blame for commanding its use. You realize that unless action was taken, the fleet would be destroyed and the Republic would fall. None of us realize the magnitude of what we unleashed. So you fought against the Mandalorians in the war? I was part of the war effort, yes. I worked as a technician, though. But you fought on the front lines. To a Mandalorian, there is honor in that. I could do without your Mandalorian honor. I saw the results of your honor, the absolute destruction your warriors brought. And look at them now. Mandalorians are little better than mercenary thugs. And what's honor to someone like that? All they care about are credits. If I were you, I'd pick your words more carefully. Settle down, you two. This isn't the time or place for this. It was a compliment, Baldur, not an insult. Let's not dwell on the past. We need to work together. Let's do that one. You fought for no cause other than to spread suffering and pain to the people you conquered. Maybe that's what it looked like to you, but that isn't why we fought. We fought for honor and glory and the heat of battle. You did nothing but murder innocents. The Republic took us too lightly. We wanted to face the full force of their army. We had to goad them to fight. That's exactly what I'm talking about. If you ask me, you Mandalorians just got what you deserved at Malakor. Defeat is part of a warrior's life. We will recover. Stronger than before. Doesn't it even bother you that your people were almost destroyed? Or do lives have no meaning to you? People die in war. Well, I'm glad to have you guarding my back. <laughs> That's enough. This conversation's over. Can we leave the past and the past and get back to work? I don't think this needs to be discussed any further. No, that's enough. Fine by me. Okay, note to self. Keep those two separated. Um... I mean, I don't know what to do now. You know what I really do want to do is talk to Handmaiden. Because I feel like if we got Baldur to become Jedi, we've got to be close to getting her, too. Why are you still naked? Yes? What are you doing? Can you teach me some more fighting moves? Can I ask you some questions? What are you doing? I am training, so that if danger should strike, my body and my reflexes will be prepared. That, and I had forgotten how long hyperspace travel can be. If I do not have something to focus my attention on, I fear my sanity will erode as well. Uh... You could always play Pazak with Hatton. What do you mean, Pazak? What, again? No, I do not trust him. At cards? Look, I don't think anyone here trusts each other. That is untrue. You and the Iridonian trust each other. Or at least the Iridonian trusts you. We heard much of the Iridonian when we served Atris. Atris believed that the Iridonian held the knowledge to restoring Telos. Who, Baldur? Is that why Atris was siphoning power to the Telos Academy? Yeah, let's do that. The reasons for such siphoning of power are complicated, and I do not know all the answers. 
But there is something greater being achieved. The teachings at the Academy must be preserved, even if it draws strength from Telos. Atris thought Baldur was the key to saving Telos? Yes. His skill with machines is something beyond which most can aspire to. His shield technology surpasses the designs of even the most skilled of Ichani power architects. I do not realize if you know what it means to have such a one respect and follow you. The Iridonian allied himself with no one on the entire world of Telos, yet he will follow you at the risk of his life. His stance, in many ways, mirrors yours. Where he walks, he carries a world upon his shoulders. And like you, I do not know if he has ever faced it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want you asking about it either. It's not your concern. You never understand hidden away your academy listening to some shooter who never fought in the wars. Maybe you'd like to explain why Atris is siphoning power. Forget it. I had some other questions. Uh, there isn't really a good choice here. I'll just go with the first one. I will respect your wishes and his. Forgive me. Don't apologize, it was a long time ago. It's just difficult to describe you to someone who wasn't there. Yeah, let's do that. The Mandalorian Wars were like that for many. Many returned, who could not tell of their experiences in a way that could bring meaning to them. Alright, other questions. Ask. Um... Can you teach me some moves? I think you are ready for the final tier I wish to teach. You have made much progress. For this, you may use any melee weapon and any shields you possess, but nothing else. No Jedi Saber, and no other items. Okay, so shields and melee weapons, but no lightsaber, no force powers, and no other items. We shall begin this final lesson, then. Alright, well, wait. We gotta, we gotta equip something. Uh... Oh, boy. Alright. We'll go with this, Rick Blade, and then, is this balanced? Yeah, let's go with double Rick Blades. That should be good. They took my armor off. All right. Let's see how this goes. Oh yeah, we're fine. Atris was correct about you. You know war, its motions and currents. There is nothing more I can teach you. Then maybe I can teach you some things. I have already learned much of your styles in combat. There is no need to know more. What's the problem? Combat among the Ichani is a personal thing. Repeated duels are not what they are in other cultures. And I would rather that this not become more than it is. And I have taken an oath to Atris against studying from a Jedi, or anything of the Jedi teachings. But do you want to learn? What I desire is of no importance. My father broke his oaths. He shamed us all. Influence I do not success. Wish to follow his path. I swore not to follow his path. If I were to follow a Jedi against Atris's wishes, then I would be betraying her for you. If I'm lost, then all I know, all I can teach will be lost. I wish someone to know what I've learned. There is no betrayal in learning, and it's important to me that you know the Jedi, that you know who I was, who I am. And if you do not know, uh, and if you do not do what you want, then you betray yourself. I fought beside you. You know me as well as you know Atris. What do you want? Forget it. Oh man, there's some good ones here. All right, let's see. If I'm lost. Then everything I, I can teach will be lost. There's no betrayal in learning. That's good. And you betray yourself. That's such a good line. Uh, but also this one. I fought beside you. Man, I like all four of these choices. Um, okay. Let's. Let's. Ugh. I hate this. I'm going to go with the then if you do not do what you want then you betray yourself. This is a difficult thing for me to say, but I ask that you be silent as I tell you this. It is my desire to learn from you what you can teach me of battle. I have already learned much in our duels, but with every battle I wish to know more of you. Your stance, your movements, I can sense shades of meaning and an echo of something I have yet to experience. 
Atris said that you were the only Jedi to have survived the Mandalorian Wars. That you had stared into the heart of war, and only turned away because you were forced to. I do not believe her. I believe that you made a choice, as my father did. And that is important to me, more than you know. And you are important to me more than you know. I will accept whatever you wish to teach me, though it breaks my oath to Atris. Yes. Then when the time is right, I will teach you more of battle. You are doing the right thing, and time shall prove it. You have chosen your new master well. I have further instruction for you now. All right. You're doing the right thing, and time shall prove it. I shall await that time. But until then, I will need time to reflect on this. It is different to voice something you feel, and I must grow accustomed to the wait. And we will speak more later. Uh, why? Do I don't feel like that's it, though. Uh... I feel like... Wait a minute. Yeah, lightsaber, and then short lightsaber. Yes? Is that... There is nothing more I... Okay. Wasn't there another option? Hold on, wait a minute. Yes? You may have. Uh, I guess not. Okay. I guess that's it for her. Um... Man, we talked to Kreia for like an hour last episode, it feels like. You are spending time with the servant of Atris. So what? I knew her mother. She was a Jedi Knight, a master, named Aaron Kai. Jedi are forbidden to have children, and when the crime finally came to light almost a decade later, Kai was exiled. She joined the Mandalorian Wars after the shame of her birth was revealed. How do you know that? The Handman told me not to speak of it. Revan welcomed her, and she was said to be a skilled warrior, beautiful and strong in the Force. The Force flows strongly in the blood of those born from Force sensitives. I doubt that Aaron was any different. If the servant of Atris is of her blood, then the potential lies within her. If you train her, if you teach her the ways of the Jedi, you will be asking her to break her oath to Atris. It would be best not to train her, and let the bloodline die with Telos. Uh... But shouldn't she know her heritage? Or, as you said, teach her the ways of the Jedi. Curious choice of words. Ah, that was an interesting choice of words indeed. She has sworn not to follow the path of the Jedi by her oath. But even that oath is limited. One does not need to be Jedi to learn the ways of the Force. I suspect it cares little for our codes and philosophies. She already broke our oath, girl. You don't even know. Uh, but is, there is only Jedi and Sith, so what you're proposing seems a greater evil. Are you proposing teaching her the ways of the Sith? But shouldn't she know her heritage? Uh, let's do that one. Should she? By whose judgment should such truths be revealed? I do not have such arrogant presumptions. The Jedi separate children from their parents as they did you. It is because family exerts a powerful influence on one's development. I am merely saying that revealing such things can have profound consequences, nothing more. So what you're saying is I should go tell her that her mom followed Revan. You uh, okay. How could I train her? You must train yourself first. The time will reveal itself. Yet if you persist as you have building her trust, then you will be training her, whether you know it or not, until the choice is hers, not yours. All right. Before you go, a word of caution. Spend time with her if you must, but recognize where your true loyalties lie to the galaxy and yourself. Okay. My loyalties are to my friends and allies. Ah, so it is loyalty you claim when you squander away your time with her. Never have you wondered what it would mean in the Ichani rituals if the two of you sparred and fought and you won completely and utterly. If perhaps she would give in, surrender herself to you. Few are the thoughts that can hide in the shadows of your mind. Exile. And such passions are not strength, but erosion. Um, 
<laughs> Maybe you should keep your thoughts to yourself. Perhaps and perhaps not, we shall see. I cannot help but hear you at times, and such curious thoughts they are, not at all like a Jedi. But I shall keep such thoughts to myself, I think. And you should as well. All right. I mean, it sounds like we're really close to getting Handmaid in it to be a Jedi. Yes. But. I am training so that if Dane that and I had forgotten. But it doesn't. You may. It doesn't look like we can. We don't have any other things to say. Oh yeah, here I wanted to talk to you about your mother. What of her? As I said, I knew little about her. Did you know she was a Jedi Knight? She was a Jedi. Her name was Arn K. The Mandalorian War. She was one of the Jedi who served and died there. In good riddance. Forget. It. Uh, she was a Jedi. Her name was Arn K. This is already known to me. Why are you telling me this? Because the Force runs strong in bloodlines, and you could learn to use it to help others. Yes. I think I have always known this. It has always been in my thoughts. As I followed Atrus, perhaps what I wished to follow was the call of my bloodline, of my mother. I have felt incomplete, hollow since her loss at Malachor V. And with your help, perhaps this wound might be healed. And so it ends. I want you to teach me the ways of the Force, to become a Jedi Knight like my mother. <laughs> Kray is pissed. If I were to train you, then I might harm you, and I would not wish that. I am not a Jedi Knight. Ask it of Atrus. If you do this, you'll break your vow to Atrus. I will not train you as a Jedi, but only in the ways of the Force. The Jedi are dead. There's only me. Let's just do... to mention the vow. There is the betrayal of Atrus, and there is the betrayal of my mother and father. After seeing you in battle, I know you more than I have ever known Atrus. And I am not convinced that serving her is the greater good. I want to feel what my mother felt for my father. What ran through my mother's veins when she was one with the Force? I wish to hear what my mother heard as she fought the Mandalorians until the moment she died on Malachor V. To know this, you have the makings of a Jedi Guardian within you, and it is time I showed you that path. I will not let you down, Exile. I will honor you as I honor the face of my mother. Oh, yeah! Betrayal. Hey, no one asked you. Betrayal. Betrayal? Mistress? She has betrayed me. The last of your sisters has betrayed me. Betrayed us. She is your sister no more. She does not travel with the exile. Instead, she has chosen to walk the path of the Jedi. Mistress, forgive us, but are you certain? She would not forsake her oath so lightly. It is the truth. And it is done. Do you doubt me? No, mistress. It is you who saved the Jedi upon Dantuin, who have collected their knowledge and hid it here to protect it. But why? How did she fall? It is a sign of his corruption. And perhaps hers as well. He will train her, and she will be flawed. Yeah, I don't like this. These people be twisted my words. Alright, so... We have some stuff to do. Alright, but we're on Dantooine. So, can we go? Let's go outside. Do I want to talk to Mira? Not really. Not right now. We've done enough talking. I'm gonna talk to Visis. That's her name, right? Yeah, not now. We're gonna go. Let's go. We're taking Handmaiden and we're taking Baldur so we can get my two Jedi Powder Ones all equipped and ready to go. woman notices your lightsaber. You'll find little welcome here, Jedi. For your own good, I recommend you speak to Administrator Adari, quickly finish your business in Kunda, and go. Uh, what? Force Persuade, you'll answer my questions. Persuade, can you please answer some questions first? Force Persuade, you'll tell no one I've been here. I'll be going. Let's just do regular Persuade. I will answer your questions. Who is Administrator Adar? Adair? Can you tell me more about Kunda? Tell me about the Administrator? You will tell no one that I've been here, or just ask who the administrator is. She was the agricultural administrator of Dantooine. After the Sith attack, she kept us together. Without her, 
The only thing you'd see around here are mercenaries. Why are there so many mercenaries here? We had problems with Mandalorian mercenaries even before the Jedi Civil War. The Jedi helped clear most of the problem up, but after the war, many soldiers from both sides of the conflict became mercenaries. And since we're so far from the core, some started gathering here. What is that, like, walking noise? It's driving me nuts. Have the mercenaries caused any problems? The difference between an out-of-work mercenary and a raider is a vibroblade's edge. The only thing we can prove they've done is intimidate a few farmers. The farmers give them goods, money, or food just to stay on their good side. The only one that isn't scared of them is the administrator. There have also been a lot of disappearances recently, and not all of them can be blamed on cath hounds. But nobody can prove the mercenaries are responsible. Who has disappeared? A farmer here and there, or a family. We lost enough people during the war that keeping the calf hound and Kinrath populations under control hasn't been possible. So there are a lot of animal attacks. Some deaths, too. The disappearances might be just coincidence, but a lot of the stubborn folks seem to be more accident prone. Where's Kunda? Kunda is the big building just outside the landing port. It used to be the estate of a man named Matali. Oh. He and his family disappeared around the time of the bombardment. The administrator rebuilt it, and now this is our center of government. Okay, this is this, your center of government? I know it doesn't look like much, but there aren't many settlers that live on this planet. This building is the start of something new for us. We're very proud of it. I'd be more impressed if there weren't so many holes. We're working on it. Is there anything else you'd want to talk about? No. Just head into the building and you'll find your way to the administrator. I'll be over by the entrance if you need anything else. Oh my god, it's this droid. Greetings, and good day, traveler. On behalf of the Kunda settlement, I am programmed to welcome you to Tatooine. Is there something I can do to serve you? Yeah, stop tap dancing in the background. Uh, you're a damaged droid. What happened to you? My apologies. I have no recollection of the Sith invasion topic. Uh, what? Sith invasion? Error. Memory overflow. Resetting. May I be of any further service to you? <laughs> okay, what can you tell me about Dantooine? Dantooine is a rural world, far removed from most galactic trade routes. Historically, agriculture has been Dantooine's primary industry. Since the destruction of the Jedi Enclave, salvage of the ruins has become a key area of growth for the local community. Uh, what do you know of the ruins? The famed ruins of the Jedi Enclave can be found northwest of the Kunda outpost. You may visit the ruins at your own risk. Zeron strongly urges salvagers to avoid the highly dangerous sublevel of the Enclave ruins. Tell me about the Enclave, how the Enclave came to be ruined. My apologies, I have no recollection of the Sith invasion topic. Oh my god. May I be of any further service? Uh, is there any work available here? The local militia occasionally offers employment to qualified soldiers. Speak to Zeron in the Kunda outpost. Additionally, many visitors come to Kunda to explore the ruins for salvage opportunities. Alright. I think May that's I it. What are the local areas of interest? Oh, wait, why were you walking in a circle? I am conducting my appointed rounds. May I be over... Okay, no. That's it. If you will excuse me... I must continue my Alright, real quick, let us equip Baldur and Oh wait, why can't you use lightsabers? Oh wait. I have to level them up. I have to level him up. I have to level them both up. Yeah, let's level up. You're not a Jedi Guardian yet. Attributes, okay. Strength, intelligence is at a plus three. Uh, they're all even, so... He could probably use more constitution? Let's give him that. That way he's got some more health. Uh, yeah, lots and lots of stuff for you. Oh, I don't have enough? Really? Huh. Okay, so he's not getting as many uh, points anymore. Well, we won't do demolition then. We'll do everything else. Feats. All right, there we go. Weapon proficiency, lightsaber, Jedi defense, force jump, and Jedi sense. So he's got Master Flurry already. Oh, we can give him improved toughness. That'll give him a lot of health. Or we can give him weapon focus lightsaber, give him a plus one attack bonus. 
Let's do that. That way he's hitting more often. Powers. He's gonna need cure. Oh look, he gets two. We get dude, improved heal right off the bat. Yes, please. Okay. Then handmaiden. That's basically just getting treat injury. She can't really do anything else. Feats, she gets the same Jedi feats. She's already got Master 2 Weapon Fighting and Master Flurry. So now, what is this? Conditioning, plus 3 to all saving throws. That's pretty good. She's already got Master Toughness. Yeah, she's also... We're just going to give her Weapon Focus Lightsaber as well. Powers, same thing. She gets 2 as well. Very good. All right, we get more levels. That's right, because we didn't level her up. We were saving her levels. So she's going to be... She's going to get all kinds of stuff. There we go. Weapon specialization lightsaber. More powers for you. Get, um... I guess the... What do we need? Energy resistance? Yeah. It's a good defensive move. Oh my god, we're gonna get her. She's got so many points. It's gonna be glorious. What can we get her though? Wisdom? Nah, we'll give her con as well. Get her a little bit more health. We're gonna have all these melee characters. We might as well have their uh, constitution rather high. <clears throat> all right. So now that she's got that, what else can we upgrade? Advanced Jedi Defense? Yeah, increased deflection rolls. That's always good. More powers, more energy resist. Except she's going to get so much stuff. This is awesome. Master energy resistance. More skills. More feats. Master Jedi defense. There we go. So now she can barely be... She'll probably never get hit with, like, ranged attacks. Improved force jump. Another power. What about battle meditation? Is that something that anybody can get, or is that just something that I can get? Oh, no, here it is. Restricted by armor, though. Is she going to be... She's going to probably be an armor wearer, because she's got heavy armor. So... Let's go with this. No, you know what? We need... Let's give her something aggressive. I guess stun? No, 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 no. Force... Force push. This guy. Yeah. Because that force... Uh, the wave is, like, so good. There we go. Plus three con. Uh, feet. She's already got so many good feats. No, we don't need that. We don't need dueling. I mean, I... I guess we just get Master Conditioning. Give her increased saving throws. Force Whirlwind. There we go. Alright, I'll put some clothes on. But what does she want to wear? 11 with a plus 3. That's pretty good. Let's put that on for now, but let's keep looking. 12 with a plus 1. Now nah, the 11 with a plus 3 is better. 13 with a plus 0. The dancer's outfit. <laughs> and then a bunch of Jedi robes. Uh, no, I think that's good with, with this. Now, what weapon do we want to give her? I haven't really... Um, I haven't modified lightsabers very much. Let's just give her one of these double-bladed greens for now. And I'm not going to worry about hitting her completely. 
He's also wearing heavy armor. Nine with a plus two dex. I think we have something better than that, don't we? The Sinagar Warsuit? So wait, he's got nine with a plus two. That's seven with a plus three. Eight with a plus three. Nine with a plus... Heavy Sinagar Warsuit. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, and he... Could do a one lightsaber. Wait a minute. Is he two handed fighting? I don't think he is. Let me look at your feats again, bro. No. He doesn't have either. He doesn't have dueling or two weapon fighting. Alright, so he's going to be a single, single saber kind of guy for now. So that's it. We're just going to stick him with this green lightsaber for now. I wonder if he wouldn't be better unarmed still, though. Like, he's got all these unarmed strikes. Baldur, yeah, yeah. Deals an extra five to 20 with unarmed attacks. So five, extra five to 20 with unarmed attacks versus his lightsaber does two to 20 damage. Uh, we'll just keep it, keep him with the lightsaber. Let's see how it goes. Oh, look at that. It's awesome. All right. Let's talk to you. The man gapes at your lightsaber. A Jedi. I've got to tell the others. No, wait. Wait, what do you have against Jedi? Ah, leave me be. Jedi. <sighs> well, <laughs> that was a mistake. What about you? Pato Addo. I give you greetings, human. So many visitors come to Kunda. An yeah. ecologist and xenobiologist. He's anxious to depart. What are you doing on Dantooine? Sent to catalog natural resources. Fascinating planet filled with life. Even nature is troubled here. The ecosphere's balance has been lost. How can it be corrected? Difficult to say. Hard to disrupt. Sentients have terrible power. Fallen Jedi's proximity may be the root of the problem, but who can say? Alright, so there's weird shit going on. What's so unusual about the Kinrath's behavior? Yeah. Kinrath are common to several worlds. They are well known for their burrowing and nesting, but here they swarm. The tunnels uh, appear to be the center of their anomalous behavior. Alright. Why are you anxious to leave? Eager to return to Telos. Uh, Alright. Oh, he's a Bazak player. Oh, he, oh, he wagers rare components on Pazak games. Yeah, okay, let's play for some armor components. Oh, alright. So we have to play some games against him for credits first, and then we can win some armor parts. Let's see. 10, 17, yeah, we'll plus 3 that. Yeah, we tied. 9, 12, 17 again. I'm gonna... Look at that. We're up 1, 2, 6, 13. Oh, he got a perfect 20. We could also play a card and get a 20. Let's do it. 8, 17. I'm gonna stand. Nice. Eight. Sixteen. Oh, that's terrible. I'm gonna end turn though. Damn it. It's alright, he's only got one. I want him to bust. Get some big cards. Nineteen plus one. Twenty. Yes. Alright, let's play. Nine, seventeen plus three. Oh, we tied. One, four. This is good. He's way ahead of me. 
I like that. Alright, so he froze on 18. 17. I could plus 2 and win. Let's do it. 10. 18. I'm just gonna stand. It's not smart. I'm gonna lose. Oh no, my god, I won. I'm trying to figure out what cards he has then. Natural 20. Oh, I tied. Alright. It's fine. At least he had to use a card. 15. 17. He has 17. Oh, man. All right. I'm going to end turn. Yeah. All right. Let's change the stakes. Uh, can you afford 700? Can we play for special armor components? Oh, I can only wager those if he has nothing else to bet. All right. Let's see. How about 750 credits? Oh, yeah. Playing for the big money now, boys. All right. 8, 10, 14. Oh, he got 20. I don't have a plus 1. I don't have a minus 5. All right. All right. He's up 1. All right, good. Keep it low. Keep it low. He froze on 19. Natural 20, my boy. All right, 7, 12, keep it low, keep it... Oh, he got a natural 20 now. That's all right, I could plus 2 and tie. Do I want to burn a card just to tie? Yeah, I might as well. Keep it low, keep it low. Yes. Oh my god, he had 20 again, though. Oh, I could plus 3 to tie again. I have to. No, you know what? Mmm! I, I have to. Oh, crap. 10, 12, 19, I have to stand. Yes! This is it. This is, this is the last, potentially the last hand. 19, stand! No! Alright, he's got no cards left. This is the last hand, unless, unless we tie. 12... 19... Stand... Yeah, boy! That was a good game. Change the stakes. Can I get your armor components now? Oh, wait, look. Moderate wager of 500. Alright, so I think this is all he's got left. Alright, come on. 8... 16... Ugh. Ooh. Alright, we'll tie. It's fine. 9. 16 again. Minus 2. Perfect. Okay. He's got card advantage, though. 11. 15. I could plus 5 it. Might as well. No! He got a natural 20! This is not gonna end well. I'm gonna stand on 18. Crap. Crap. Twelve. Ugh, I'm I'm not even Ugh Alright, fine. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. Yeah. So let me see, if I gotta change the stakes now, yeah, we could go up to seven fifty again. Let's try. If we lose this, then we're going to net even. 12. Minus 2 for the win. 7. 11. Damn, we got 20 again. 13. 16. Alright, come on. We just need to win one more. 9. Give me a 20. Oh, crap. Stand on 18. Alright, good. He played a card to tie. 8, 9, 17. Oh, yeah! Okay. Oh, man. I really want to bankrupt this guy. 500. Let's go. Six, nine, sixteen. I don't have a plus four. Oh my 
god. 15. Good. Come on, keep it. Why can't I keep it low? I'm gonna end turn on 17. Yeah. That was smart. Yes. Oh man, he's got 19. Oh man, I could minus two and tie, but I don't want to, but I do need to. Yes, keep it low, keep it low. Oh, shucks. Oh, if only it was a plus or minus one. Yes, keep it low. Darn it. Yes, natural 20, okay. Keep it low. No, 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 no. Yeah, keep it. No. Oh, no. Okay. I think we need to plus one and stand on 17 because that means if he gets a three, a four, a five, or a six, three, four, five, six. So that's a 40% chance. I have a 60% chance to win right here. Damn it. All right, I think we're done. I'm gonna be going now. We won a thousand credits. Don't worry. We're gonna get this guy though. We're gonna bankrupt him at the start of the next episode. So here we are. We're on Dantooine. We haven't really gone very far this episode. Not a whole lot happened. What am I talking about? Not a whole lot happened. We got two Jedi in our group now. This is awesome. Handmaiden and Baldur are both Jedi. Both using lightsabers. Can't wait to see them fighting alongside me. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Mobius1 here, and I'll see you in the next one.